Whether you want to use it for everyday carry or organize a ton of important gear inside your bug out bags, the Roaring Fire Pico Fire Pocket Pouch is definitely something you might want to look into, so let's check it out. Alright folks, welcome back. So, one of the reasons I have been collecting these pouches is I plan to do a little bit of a reorganization on one of my larger and older bug out bags. Um, I want to put everything kind of in its place and make it a little more neat and a little more easier to get at my gear. And some of the things that I have in that particular bag, it's just kind of everywhere. And there are some pouches in there, but they're medical pouches and they're too big for what I'm using. So I want to kind of reorganize. And we're going to do that on video. I want to go through it tomorrow and see what I can reorganize in that bag. And we're going to put that on video. And this is probably one of my... It's the evolution of one of my first bug out bags. Um, it was like... When I first started, I had it in a huge camping backpacking bag with a, it had a seat attached to it, you know, like a fold-up fold seat, and it was way too heavy. So what I did was I kind of refined it over the years and changed out the bag and changed out the gear, and I haven't been in it in about a year, and I kind of make a point to go through my bug-out bags every six months just to make sure everything's okay. So we're going to do that on video tomorrow, but that's the point, and that's why I reviewed this from Roaring Fire, I think last week sometime. And that's why I'm reviewing this little guy here. This is the Pico Fire Pocket Pouch. It's kind of a good EDC, everyday carry organizer. Uh, it could double as a wallet if you wanted it to. It definitely has a whole lot of uses. And I plan on using this more for administrative stuff inside my bug out bag. Maybe a pen, a lighter, a this, a that, whatever. Stuff that I'm going to need to grab right away and get at. And it also has this little handy pouch up here. I mean, a little handy loop up here. So I can hook this somewhere on the top of my bag and always be able to just fish it out and get it. Maybe I'm going to put my ID in there, whatever. I'll always be able to fish it out easily and get at it. Now, there are other loops on this which are kind of handy. I don't have it in there, but you'll notice there's a loop on the side here for sticking this under so that it won't unzip. And the pouch itself is, as you can tell, pretty darn handy. Um, I would not be, hesitate to use this as a wallet if I were to pick up another one. Um, it is kind of big, but I carry an everyday carry bag with me with my gear in it and any kind of little small emergency type stuff. So it would definitely fit the role and probably be pretty darn good. Might even work as a small first aid kit for you as well in your everyday carry gear. You know, if you work in an office setting where you can't really bring in a ton of tactical gear, you might be able to bring something like this in, in your pocket and it wouldn't raise too many eyebrows. Using this pouch, you no longer need to worry about an extra flashlight holder, key holder, wallet. You don't have to spend time worrying that your favorite flashlight or knife is going to get scratched up. Uh, so this way, everything is in one little kit. It comes with three zippered pockets. It's a small mesh pocket on the inside. Six elastic loops, three card inserts, so you can put your debit cards and business cards or whatever. I'm going to show you how I have this set up here. Again, this isn't the final setup of how it's going to look. We're going to do that on video tomorrow. But I'm going to show you what I put in here just to kind of demo the size and the features of it. The size and the weight on it. This little pouch only weighs three ounces, so you're not going to be weighed down with a ton of weight inside it. The pocket organizer pouch is 6.3 6 inches by 4.3 inches, and about one inch thick, depending on how much stuff you stuff in there. And again, it's 3.5 ounces, so really it's three and a half ounces, and it's very, very great for everyday carry, with whatever you're going to put inside. I want to open this up so I don't bore you guys to tear, look, tears looking at a black pouch, and show you, just give you an idea of some of the stuff that I put in here. Um, I have a pocket knife in here, a little flashlight, a ferro rod and striker with a little bit of duct tape on it, uh, some cash. In here I have, this is a little pouch here, I might put my cash in this one depending. Um, this is a good place for bug out cash too. Um, if you have maybe a couple hundred bucks in small bills, good place to stick it in there. This is a little uh, fire light, fire cube from SOL, basically gelled fire starter. Okay, so that fits in there nicely. I do have a couple of these little... Uh, alcohol pads. For those of you that don't know, these are excellent fire starters, but you do need to change them out often. Okay. In here, I have a little Altoids tin that I've turned into a little miniature stove. Um, what I did was I got some pine sap from my tree out there in front and some cardboard and dripped it all in here. So this will be a good little miniature stove if I have to heat something or cook something. Of course, I have a good old-fashioned lighter, a little thing of propel back here. This is my big pocket. And by the way, those of you using this to carry... Um, carry your everyday carry gear, this could easily fit a passport in here. It goes all the way to the bottom on this one. See? 
So you got a lot of room down at the bottom there, a lot of air space to store stuff. And as you can tell, even with all this stuff in here, this zips up pretty small and it's pretty compact and really isn't all that heavy. You do have the side straps here that you can just kind of push together and close if you need to. This is your strap for your keys. Again, if you don't want stuff in, in your gear, you can always cut it out. I tell people that and they're like, oh my God, why would I do that? But if there's stuff in your gear that doesn't fit your needs, like let's say I get this in my bag tomorrow and realize this is a pain in the butt. I'm not going to use this. There's no reason why I can't just cut it off. Same goes for the key fob on the inside. If you don't want it, you can get rid of that. You do have a pouch out here. However, it is, especially when full, kind of a thin pouch. I maybe would put money in there. Um, not, much, not too much in there because it would be hard to dig out. And you do have one on the back here. Same situation. Again, it's going to be dependent on how much stuff you have inside of your bag to how much you're going to actually stick in there. You have a Velcro thing here for morale patches or whatever if you want to stick a, a patch on there or not. I'm not really big into morale patches, but if you got an extra one, maybe it's a cool place to stick it on there. So this will organize all your tools, prevent them from too much abuse, getting beat up, lots of storage space, plenty of room for everything you need for daily carry, and it will keep your pockets organized if you do decide to carry this as an EDC carrier and not anything to do with survival or preparedness. Remember, there's a good point in having your gear organized. It, during a disaster or emergency, if I know right where my cash is, right where my credit cards are, right where my keys are, I grab this and I'm out the door of my office during some kind of an emergency. Now, you will notice all Roaring Fire gear uses YKK zippers, so they're using a little bit premium, better than average kind of zippers on these. Same with the, uh, the larger bag I showed you last week. They all use the uh, YKK zippers. It's made of 500D nylon water-resistant material. It's durable, it's wear-resistant, dirt-resistant, tear-resistant. Gives you good storage protection for your gear. You've got reinforced sewing and binding tape throughout all the stitches on this, so it will really extend the life of your pouch. And the best part, it's 20 bucks. I've seen EDC gear carriers for 40 and $50, so it's definitely a good deal. As you can see, you can fit a whole lot of gear in there very, very neatly. And the nice part about it is you know where everything is. Once I open this up, it's like my roll-up for my uh, first aid kit. Once I open this thing up, I look inside and go, oh, okay, there's my knife, there's this, there's that. There's no fumbling around in your pockets or inside your bag during an emergency. Where did I put my flashlight? Where's this? Where's my cash? It's all right there out in the open for you to see very easily. And that is one of the things I love about when it comes to making my, uh, my bug out bags. Organization. Having everything where you need it and where you can see it. Um, one of the things with, uh, that I'm going to be using this for is probably a first aid kit. And um, one of the problems I've had with my first aid kit there is it's a traditional store-bought first aid kit. Now, of course, all the uh, guts of it have been dumped out and I've added my own stuff to it and upgraded and improved some of the things, but it's still bulky and big, whereas with something like this, I can roll it out right there and see everything. Same with this. I have a couple of um, ammo carriers, military ammo um, and first aid kind of carrier type kits in there, and the problem with them is you can't really see what's inside. Now, I know I have them labeled. I know what's in there, but it's hard to get at. And with these kind of things that open up nice and wide, like this little pocket organizer, you see everything at once. Nothing's hidden. Nothing's hiding away. Nothing's stuck under something. If I need my cash, it's right here. I grab it. If I need those little alcohol wipes, they're right there. Anything I need is right here ready for me to get at. So the best thing I like about these kind of pouches, especially this Pico Fire pocket pouch, is that it's multifunctional. This can be used as a pocket organizer, can be put in your pocket to use as a wallet, can be used as a coin card and cash holder type thing, a notebook case, whatever. And probably what I'm going to do with this is put, like I said, the stuff I need to grab right away maybe in a bug out situation. Um, maybe my, you know, a couple of band-aids, maybe a, my, uh, an extra debit card in there for emergencies or credit card. I do happen to keep a um, credit card or debit card, I believe it's a debit card, in there with cash on it for emergencies. Now, people will think, well, why would you want to do that? Well, I also keep cash, too. But the point is, there are some places where it's just faster to take a card and swipe it. And if the card systems are still up, why not do it, you know? Some things you can't do without a card. You can't rent a car. You can't rent a hotel room in some places. Handing them a wad of cash is going to look a little more suspicious during some kind of emergency you want to get away from. Then go, here's my card. Let me get a room for the night. So during a disaster or emergency, there are other things to consider. Um, again, I consider my bug-out bags and you know gear for them as a short-term emergency. 
I'll probably be going back home. Maybe it's a weather-related thing, maybe a truck full of radioactive material tipped over on the highway, you know, whatever. Eventually, I'm going to be going back home. So I don't want to treat it as if it's, you know, an I'm never coming home kit. I do have an I'm never coming home kit. It's in Rubbermaid tubs and takes me about 20 minutes to load in my car. So for a bug out bag, it's more of a short term situation. Okay, so that's why I'll be using these two little items. Um, again, I will leave a link for both of them if you're interested down below. But I really like this little mini pouch and it's got so many uses and it also can be a wallet. And that's the cool part about it. Um, we carry so much stuff today. You know, a lot of people will see my, I have like a little, I guess you could call it a Merce. <laughs> I carry all my stuff in it. But, you know, I got a checkbook in there. I got uh, my, my credit card stuff. I got a first aid kit. I got my charger for my cell phone, my cell phone, a bunch of other stuff in there. And um, along with a little bit of emergency gear and some emergency food should I get stuck somewhere. And, you know, it adds up. So something like this could definitely take your wallet and take it to the next level with a few extras in there. Um, if you don't want to always carry a pocket knife in your pocket, you know, you can put all your wallet and information and your information over here, and maybe some EDC gear on this side. So, that is the Roaring Fire Pico Fire Pocket Pouch. You can get the pouch at the link down below. I will have that link for you down below. Make sure I don't have any codes or any discounts down there. Usually, um, I will, I'll put that right under the link if I do. All right, and don't forget to check out all our other links. We have our Amazon affiliate store, our freeze-dried wholesaler link. Um, it's getting close to the end of the month, folks, so definitely check them out. They are running at capacity. They're pumping out that food for you. It would be foolish to throw away that 15% discount you're going to get for using my link. So definitely check them out. I heard some people say that it's kind of expensive. Right now, freeze-dried food and all of prepper food is expensive. It's hard to come by. Um, and you can save 15% by using my link. Prices are up on everything. It's not just emergency food. Go shop some gear. Um, a few days ago, I believe it was Magic Prepper, did a video on the gear he bought in 2019 and how much it costs then and how much it costs now. So just that short little period of time, prices have gone up. So definitely check out Freeze Dried Wholesaler. Use my link. Save 15% on it. We have our My Patriot Supply. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. This is your last chance to get in on that three-month deal. Three months worth of food packed and shipped to you, $150 off. And before that, the price wasn't even that bad. So that's a good deal, too. And our Thrive Life Freeze Dried Food Store, if you're interested in checking that out, too. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I'm going to go start unpacking my bug out bag for tomorrow's video. Stay safe and stay prepared.